On this video, I'm gonna go over the most important tip for beginner hikers. Now with COVID, there's been a lot of people heading out into the woods, and with that, there's a lot of people getting lost in the woods. Now, the most important tip I can give for hikers, something I went through myself, and that is to have navigation. Navigation is the most important thing because without being able to get out of the woods, nothing else really matters. Now sure, you should bring your 10 essentials. You can look that up. Maybe I'll make another video on that that has the 10 essentials, but you know, water, extra clothing, etc., etc. But navigation is so crucial because often the main problem people have is they'll follow a trail and on the way back, like what happened to me once, is I followed the trail but then I didn't see the markers. The trail looks different when you go back than the way you go up, especially if it's a really steep trail. And then you end up following a deer trail that goes off to the side and out into the middle of nowhere. Um, and that's, this can happen a lot actually, because the animals go in there, bears, deer, whatever, wolves, they all create their own trails in there. There's lots of little, little trails, especially where I live. And um, they're really not that well trot. Now, if you're in an area where, I don't know, say Banff National Park, where <laughs> there's like, the, the, sign, the signage there is quite amazing compared to where I live on Vancouver Island. Uh, you're not going to get lost out there, but I mean, in general, if you're a new hiker, you should be getting yourself some navigation. And so the first thing you want to do is get, uh, everyone's, everyone's got a phone. You want to get yourself either all trails, uh, Strava, whatever you're used to using, you can use Gaia. All these apps will let you record your track as you're hiking. So even if you get lost, you can just look at your map and just like literally look at your phone while you're hiking to follow your way out. Now, something to note that you don't wanna waste all your battery looking at your phone. You should only check it every five to 10 minutes. In the case of myself, I had an old set, I actually had old, two old phones and one of them was using maps.me. And the programmers put in a little update, which I think they thought was pretty clever to force people to do the update. They changed the, the earth map with Pangea, which is like the old earth when it was all the continents were one you know, together in one piece. And so I got in the woods and then I started getting sidetracked on a deer trail. And then I was like, what's going on here? I didn't recognize it. I pulled out my phone and there's Pangea looking at me. And I wasn't tracking my location. I wasn't tracking my track into the woods. And then I was kind of stuck with this, you know, Pangea map that gave me absolutely nothing. I was pretty <laughs> angry at the programmers for doing that too. But I had a second phone, so I pulled that out. But since it was really old, it had, didn't have a great uh, GPS connection and I had to like bushwhack until I found a little clearing before I got uh, some cell signal or at least some sort of satellite connection before I could get myself going the right direction. This whole time I, I was being followed by a pack of wolves and it was getting dark and it was getting cold. This was like in, in springtime, so it was still get pretty cold at nighttime. So you don't wanna be like that. Don't make that mistake. You don't be that person that calls for the helicopter or whatever. Um, if you have to call for a helicopter, you obviously do that, but that brings me to my next point. So I always bring two phones and even better than bringing two phones is to bring a Garmin GPS or a, a Garmin Explorer, InReach Mini, um, anything like that. The, there's a Bivy stick, there's the Spot. Those are all good. Um, the Spot uses a different network, like Garmin uses Iridium, which is a much better network. You can also use a PLB, which is a personal locator beacon, which is used by like boats and marine and I don't know, whatever else, and that uses the military. And the PLBs actually have been shown to be more effective or more pinpoint accurate than the other network, but obviously the benefit of using like an inReach, like a Garmin inReach Mini or whatever, you can text with the rescuers. And that's a, like, I went back and forth with this for a long time before I decided to get inReach Mini because a PLB is great. You can just, you just buy it and you don't have to pay a, a fee for a monthly fee to keep it going. You just if you're in trouble, you pull it out, you push the button, the helicopter shows up, you know, an hour, two, five, six, eight hours later and saves you. But that's, that's only an emergency situation. Say if your car breaks down as you're leaving the trailhead, then you can at least, you can use your, your Garmin to call, you push the button, you start getting contact, and then you say like, hey, my vehicle broke down, I'm stranded out here, but it's not a life or death situation. So this gives you more options to, you know, not be stuck in the woods. So, and with that, you can also get um, the InReach Explorer or any of those, the bigger ones with the big screen, and those also have navigation on them. So it depends how far up the ladder you wanna go. Obviously it gets a lot more expensive, but if you get yourself at least all trails and track your own track as you go into the woods, you can always follow it out even if you get lost. 
And um, this goes with Strava. I used to use Strava all the time for doing this. Now I just kind of use all trails to do it. But same difference, whatever app you're comfortable with. I have Gaia GPS, that's the main one I use now just because it has a lot more features than all trails. But uh, yeah, always track yourself out there and create a plan, especially if you're a new hiker, tell someone where you're going and then have your navigation. And that at the bare minimum, you should be able to get yourself out of the woods even if you get lost, because when it comes down to it, that's the number one thing. So hopefully you enjoyed this tip. I got a lot more videos coming up, different ad advice and tips for new hikers, as well as uh, other adventure videos and reviews. So be sure to subscribe, stay tuned, and until the next episode, have a great day.